This is part three of Langton's Retreat. Now here I am spray painting some old platforms just to tidy them up. First of all grey, grey primer which is a car paint and then some black. One on weathering more than the other. Now this is the actual track land day which started at quarter past seven. I'm using Gauge Master GM200 ballasted foam. Now this is a nice product with actual pieces of granite stuck to it and it's got indentations in it to accept the track. It comes on a five metre roll. So just work out how many metres you need. They call this stuff Multipren and it's insulating, electrically insulating, very flexible and gives a realistic appearance and I tend to agree. I think it's easy to work with and it's for curved and straight track. So what I use is a contact adhesive that I spot over the track, especially at the ends, and then I simply press it onto the GM200 ballasted foam. And it glues immediately, and that track is actually ready to use. So if you had a temporary layout, and you just wanted to fix track together in sections like this, you can do and put it on a wooden baseboard, and it will actually look ballasted and you can just lay it on a wooden base like that. But what I'm going to do today is actually glue the ballasted foam to my baseboard as well and glue it down at the end of the day. So here I am cutting out the strips and this only took an hour to do. 20 minutes of that was to do the two points. So it's a very quick process and I'm not putting any glue over the track either. It's very simple, very effective and the track will be clean and ready to run straight away. So here I'm doing a curved section of track, as easy as doing a straight section of track, and you just pull and stretch the foam to fit. It's pretty much there anyhow. It's actually got real pieces of granite stuck to it. You can buy loose granite, which you can stick in between two sections of track. And that's called GM114. And this ballasted foam also comes in a brownish tinge as well. Now I'm using the grayish one. So uh, here I am, a little bit more of the contact adhesive, something like Boss Stick, Yoohoo Evo Stick, or anything like that. Now for gluing the ballasted foam to the insulation board, I use more contact adhesive, but if you use PVA glue, it gives you about half an hour to slide it around, move it around, and make sure the distances are exactly correct. So I check everything with the ruler. I still had time with the contact adhesive, the points, they're fairly simple too. You just glue the straight section first, cutting out a little piece of foam just to make sure that it doesn't impede the motion of the actual point mechanism itself. Check that it functions still. That's it, nicely done. And then just glue an extra piece of foam that's cut to the V shape that fits on the piece of the point that feeds out. Now any little gaps you have when you put the track together you can cut a slither of ballasted foam and simply slot it in and glue it in. Very very simple. So here I am putting the pieces of track together and then I put glue underneath them and literally stuck it to my baseboard. In under two hours the train was running. It ran first time as well. Didn't have to clean the track. I'd obviously check that all of my joins where the rail joiners were were nice and smooth. Here I am checking the points, making sure that the train functions nicely. And it did. Now the ends of the ballasted foam I will smooth out later when I get some GM114, the loose gravel, and I will hand ballast that in the traditional way around the track. In between the tracks I will make that grey ballast as well. So here it is running already.